first question will be Chris Neese from Old Schoolboy Bones. Hey, Josh, hope you're good. What did uh, breaking the rock on Saturday signify directly to you with getting the honor of doing so? Uh, what it signified to me is that the hard work is paying off. It's just, I think everything's about the work, work, the work. And it goes to show that the hard work doesn't go unnoticed. Next will be Kurt Waller from Thomas the Democrat. I guess kind of along those lines, obviously Coach Norvell hasn't been here throughout kind of you and all you've been through during your time, but him speaking of your pride in this offseason and especially I would say the impact you made even when you weren't participating in practice and working out and all this offseason, I guess what's, what's that speak to about just getting that accomplishment, getting rewarded like that after your journey here so far? Um, it's been a lot of injuries and stuff like that. And a little bit of stuff going on at home too, but I learned from my parents. Um, them always working has kind of leading by example and things like that. So I feel like that's kind of instilled in me. Uh, I came here in 2017 and things haven't obviously gone as I wanted it to, but all I can do is just keep working, keep working, keep working, and Hopefully all that hard work is going to pay off. I feel like we're breaking the rock. It shows me that it's paying off, you know? So that makes me excited. That makes me feel good. It makes me want to work even harder, you know, because it's good to finally get recognized for something, you know? Next will be Irish O'Fell from WorkCamp. Hey, Josh. Uh, the fact that, you know, you guys didn't know Georgia Tech was going to be your opening game until, you know, just a few weeks ago, really. Um, Coach Norvell mentioned that maybe it's you know one thing that's been good is you guys have been able to focus on yourselves and not worry about who you're playing against. Have you seen that playing out? I mean, just compared to normal season openers, have you guys been able to focus a little bit more on on your own game instead of worrying about who you're playing? Definitely. Um, all that stuff that was going on, on the outside with COVID and potentially having no season, having a season, changing opponents and this and that. That's all stuff that, that we can't control. That's out of our reach, you know. So all we can do is scrap every day on the field, fight each other, challenge ourselves to get better, you know, push ourselves. And yeah, there's all that other stuff we really can't worry about. So like Coach Rivera always tells us, control what we can control. And we can't control that. So how we respond to that was just to keep working and keep focusing on us. Next would be Perry from California. Hey, Josh. Uh, one month ago, you were sitting with the governor at a press conference. A few months ago, you were rehabbing. A week ago, you got to hit the rock and break that and show the progress you made. How have you kind of like processed all of that progress? And then also just keep your mind looking forward. It's, it's been crazy. <laughs> it's been kind of crazy, but... um. That's all been good. It's, it's good to meet the governor. Definitely good to break the rock. And I'm so blessed to heal and be back on the field. It feels good. That's all good and all. But like I said, it's all about the work. So all that's good and all, but you got to keep working every single day. It's not something that you, you can just do one time and it's over with. You got to keep going. So I see it's all good and all, but we still got to work. We still got a game next week. We still got a whole season to play. We still have goals that we want to accomplish. So, like I said, it's all about the work. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't lose focus on the main thing. Keep the main thing the main thing. Hey, Josh. Hope all is well. I had a, two questions for you. First, uh, what would you say the biggest difference in your game is from a year ago? Like, what have you improved on the most? And then, second, this is coming from a an anxious person. Were, were you worried that you were going to miss the rock at all when, when you hit it? <laughs> Oh, obviously the second or first, <laughs> I was definitely worried I was going to miss the rock. I never swung a hammer like that. I never swung a hammer that big or anything like that. So I was scared I was going to go out there and just look goofy and whatever. But <laughs> what was the uh, first question again? What, was the first what area of your game do you think you've improved on the most since a year ago? Um, Personally, I think it's been using my hands. Um. Now that I'm older, I feel like I see the game a little bit differently. Things have kind of slowed down a bit. 
things like that. But my eye control of looking at the man in front of me and trying to beat him and then keeping my hands up and having them active using them, I think that's one of my biggest improvements. Right. We'll go to Andrea Adelson from ESPN.com. Josh, you guys obviously have a lot of veterans coming back on that defensive line. Um, what do you think the potential is for that group for this year? We could be the best D line in the country. But potential is just potential. We still have to put that work in and go out there and work to be what we can be, you know? So you can't fall in love with potential. You got to go out there and actually do it. And we believe, if we truly believe, we want to be the best the best D line in the country and we know we can do that. So we just gotta go out and work towards that. Every single day, not just one day, just every single day. You gotta be consistent with it. And if we do that, then it could be really great. It could be something special. Go back to Kurt from the Democrat. Hey Josh, uh, Coach Norbell's talked about kind of using this week as a practice game week to kind of give y'all an expectation of what's going to happen every day. I know you're going to have a mock game on Saturday. How important with the new coaching staff is so that next week when it's kind of for real, you know kind of the expectations, the schedule, things of that sort? Well, with the way that we've been preparing, I think we'll be just fine. But the more prepared you are, the more confident you are. So I think with the way we, that we've been preparing, I've been preparing preparation pauses and things like that. And we're all excited. So we know that we've been working hard every single day, day in and day out, and we've been pushing ourselves. It's been tough as ever, but we still try to trying to reach that new level and push each other to get better. So we've been waiting, and there's been a lot of uncertainty and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of exciting that we're finally like here and stuff. But like I said, the pre preparation that we have, I think we'll be just fine. Just focus on us, you know. We play who we play, and that'll be all. Hey, Josh, when you go into a game uh, where the other team has several quarterback options, they, they haven't said what they're going to do with quarterback, does that change your preparation at all? Do you, do, you, do you guys talk much about the different quarterbacks and what they bring, or do you just focus on their, their overall scheme? Um, I think that with different quarterbacks, some quarterbacks – pocket passes, some quarterbacks are more mobile, and that'll kind of change the way you play a little bit because if a quarterback is just sitting out there, that's different. You can rush more freely in a sense, but if you have a mobile quarterback that can run everywhere, you've got to be way more balanced, you know what I'm saying? So we're definitely going to focus on the scheme and stuff, but you you got to know who's back there and what attributes that he has and things like that. So like I said, we're playing a mobile quarterback, so Rushes are definitely going to be more balanced and try to, you know, compress that pocket and stuff. And more power rushes, maybe, just because you never know where you can escape from, you know. And option team and stuff like that, you know, he likes to run a lot and he'll pull the ball even when you're doing the right thing as a DN, especially. So you just got to be real tight in your techniques and your fundamentals. All right. Thank you, Josh.